What's up, party people? G5 Productions in the place to be Superman first class in the mix. If you guys ever had to charge more than three things with a USB cable, go ahead and smash that like button for me. Let's get it. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Gerald here excited to share and in this video today we're going to be talking about the Sabret 16 port USB hub and charger. Now this thing allows for data transfer while you're charging other devices and what's cool about it is we get to turn on ports uh, as we need them so we don't have all 16 ports having power supply to them but we'll get into the nooks and crannies of this device here soon enough uh, in the meantime thank you all so much for supporting our channel with the comments the likes the shares and all that good stuff and i'm asking you here today to continue that so if you don't mind please smash that like button subscribe to our channel and if you don't mind keeping up with all the videos all you got to do is rock that bell now let's get into the nooks and crannies of the Sabre 16 port USB hub and charger. All right, everybody. So if you are a DJ or a content creator, or perhaps you just have a family member with a lot of different USB type devices you have to charge, that becomes a challenge. I mean, let's face it. All of these devices come with at least some kind of cable. And most of us probably go to our computer to charge these devices. And then there are times where you have to find wall outlets with the associated power brick to charge your devices. Now, as far as data cables go, a lot of these devices come with charge only type cables, maybe data transfer type cables or a combination of data and charge capability. Either way, there are lots of cables to plug in somewhere to get your stuff charged. Well, in doing my research, I did come across the Sabre 16 port USB hub and charger. And it's a great solution for me because I do have to charge quite a few devices regularly because I do create videos and or share things with you guys. So let me get everything out the box. We're going to talk about it a little bit, then do a quick demo. There it is, party people, right out of the box. What you see is what you get. And we're going to talk a little bit about these components, which are the 16 port charger, the power brick with the associated cable from the brick to the wall to power the device. And of course, we have a data cable along with some wall mounting hardware, which makes this setup very convenient. On one end of the Sabre, you have a port for the USB cable and the power brick so that you can power this device. Again, it is not USB powered. On the top of the device, you have 16 ports, all with individual switches. They are 3.0 with the USB. Now on the back, it has some non-skid pads on it, but you also have two holes for mounting to the bracket that goes onto the wall. So you have the threaded inserts that go right in the back of it, just like so. And to mount this to a wall, if the bracket is screwed in with the hardware, you just simply slide it in place like that. And that allows you to hang it to the wall very conveniently. Now these pads on the back are not sticky pads. They're really just anti-skid in case you just want to sit this onto a desktop and help it stay in place. Now the Sabrent is really a great solution for me because I have to charge all of these devices here on the table to include the cell phone that I'm making this video with. So now let me go ahead and get everything compressed a little bit so I can make room for the laptop. We are going to do a demonstration of charging about 15 devices and a data transfer with a thumb drive. All of these devices do come with their own associated cables. Again, they range from different lengths to data only or data and charging capabilities. As far as the switches go on the top, they're really tactile. So you just press once for on and once again for off. And to get this powered up, all you have to do is put the barrel connector in it from the brick. And of course, on the other end of the brick, you have the associated cable that goes in. And the opposite end of that cable goes right into a power source. As for the data cable here, it's really one size, one fit. You can't mess that up. The other end of the data cable, however, goes into your computer. Now, in my case with the MacBook, I only have USB-C ports, so I usually have to use a dongle or, in this case, the hyperdrive. So now that we got everything all set up, again, we are going to power up to 15 devices and do a quick demo. These switches are designed to turn on the ports only needed for charging and or data transfer accordingly. And that makes this very convenient. Plus, they allow me to do cool stuff like this. What? 
Each device come with its own perspective cable and some devices, depending on what it is, it will allow for data transfer only and some cables will allow you to do data transfer and charging like in the case of cell phones. So while I'm getting all the cables plugged into their devices, this is a great time for you to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. And of course, if you want to keep up with all these videos, all you got to do is rock that bell. Now, I do want to take this time also to thank everyone supporting our channel. And it really, really means a lot to me. And we couldn't keep it going without your help. As I press switches accordingly, devices will start to power up and only once you turn them on. So as you can see here, as I'm pressing switches, they're going to come on. They will not overcharge. They will adjust to the voltage that's needed to charge the said device. I use the Rode Wireless Go for vlogging a lot. I have some Mevo cameras in my arsenal now. And of course, I have cell phones and tablets, like in this case, the iPad 3. Now, certain devices will have a delayed reaction, like in the case of the Bose, even though I turned it on, the lights are just now coming on. But moving on down the line, as I'm turning on these switches, you can see that the respective charge light indicators are coming on and they sometimes have bars or red for charging or yellow for almost charging green for when they are charged. Now here's a top view of the Sabre just to give you a perspective on the 15 buttons all depressed for all of these devices we are charging. And again, they are all ranging from totally depleted to fully charged already or anywhere in between. This is a 90 watt charger. So if you're interested in knowing that information, it's there. Otherwise you can Google the rest of the tech stuff for yourself. One thing I did learn off camera is to make sure I turn on the port before I connect any hard drives or thumb drives, in this case, the thumb drive. And now it's showing up on my desktop accordingly. So what I'm going to do here is open it up. I'm going to go and grab a random photo and take it from the thumb drive and put it onto my desktop. And of course, once that's complete, I'm going to just go ahead and eject the thumb drive the correct way, of course and then I'm going to remove it from the Sabrent and turn off that port because at that point it's no longer needed. So there it is. So to check my file, I'm just gonna simply open it up and this is all while charging 15 devices and as you can see the photo opened up and everything's good to go. And now that this demonstration is over, I'm just gonna simply put this file in the trash can. So there it is, party people. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave me some comments below. If you're a DJ, leave your DJ name down there. I want to know who you are. But if you have any questions about this demo that you just saw, um, I can tell you right now that I'm excited to answer those questions as they come up, as long as I know the answer to it. But the Sabrent is a very, very good device. I recommend it for all DJs or people who have a lot of stuff they always have to charge without having to fight over plugs or ports in your computers and dongles and stuff like that all over the place. Other than that, that's it for the video. So if you don't mind, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and to keep up with all these amazing videos, all you got to do is rock that bell. I'm Gerald, and if you'd like to know more of what we do at G5 Productions, all you got to do is visit www.g5productions.com. Let's party.